fold your paper pattern into two then you mark out your shoulder to your bust point measurement it's the lines together and label bust point mark out your shoulder to your under bust measurement and connect the lines Still on your shoulder point, measure your shoulder to your half length. Some people call their half length their waistline. Divide your shoulder measurement into two and add 0.5 inches allowance. From the shoulder point, come downwards by 1 inches for shoulder slope. As you can see, I'm connecting the 1 inch slope to the middle part of my pattern. From the 1 inch slope, take out your ammo circumference, which is your bust divided by 6 plus 1.5 inches. On the ammo line, mark your round bust divided by 4 plus 1.5 inches so in allowance. From the middle point of your ammo, mark out 0.75 inches inward. Connect all the lines together as you can see in the video. Bust measurement you took on your ammo, extend it to your bust point. Divide your round under bust by 4 and add 1.5 inches seam allowance. Take your waist measurement, divide by 4 and also add 1.5 inches seam allowance and connect all lines together. On your bust point, take your bust palm measurement, divide it by 2 and rule a straight line downwards to the waist. On your bust pan by your bust point, come down by 0.5 inches allowance. On the under bust, mark 0.5 inches on both sides. While on your waistline, mark 0.75 inches on both sides and connect all lines together as shown. We do not need the middle part of that dart, so we are going to mark it as an unwanted line. Since we are going to cut out that as an unwanted line, we are going to transfer all the measurements we have there to our side seam. Now connect all your lines together as shown in the video. So I'm going to cycle the previous line as an um, invisible line, meaning we are going to pretend as if that line does not exist. On your bust point, mark 0.5 inches inward and connect the line straight down to the waist point. Place your cup on the under bust line, so I'm making use of this white cup. Ensure that this pointed area is under 0.5 inches that we marked on the bust point. Once you've placed it there, trace out your cup as shown in the video. While tracing your cup, stop at the first dart line and move your cup to the third dart line and continue tracing the line.
connect this point to your ammo curve. Now we have our first panel which is our center panel and our second panel which is our side panel. On the waistline, come upwards by 1 inches and curve downwards. I want to give my corset a nice shape. Remember to add your seam allowance to the lower part of your corset. Now it's time to cut. Please watch carefully as I'm cutting this. So our front corset is ready as you can see it's really looking pretty nice um, this is um, the front panel I'm trying to label it side front um, center front and side front to mark our back pattern we need to place our center front to the side of the paper Remember the 0.75 inches on the waistline and 0.5 inches on the underbust that we took at the front panel. We need to trace back that line. Place the side front on that line we just marked and cut your um, pattern paper. From that ammo point, connect it downwards as shown in the video. Now cut out that part, we do not need that part again. Extend that, um, that line we took and take out 0.5 inches on both sides of the waist and connect. So I want to get my loop spacing, I marked 1.5 inches, you can mark 1 inches, you can mark 2 inches. Now we've gotten our center back and our side back, so I'm just going to cut through the dart area. Remember to add joining allowance to the sides that I'm pointing at. Now our corset is ready, so this is the front part and the back part. Thanks for watching.